Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this job it's just a cylinder install in the house I've been doing up. I did this on a Saturday and a Sunday. Uh, the Saturday I had to strip all the kitchen out. Um, I uh, MDF lined all the walls and um, basically got the boiler and the flue hole done and the oil lining on Saturday. That's all I've got done. I went back on the Sunday and started doing the fun bit, putting all the pipes in. Um, so yeah, you just see me. I just took... Um, about 10 15 seconds of video every like 20 minutes half an hour um yeah just to show you the install progress really um i didn't get the job all done obviously it was quite a big job but i got a fair bit done as i say i had about six hours work on it i would say um so yeah i was actually quite enjoying myself really just nice to do a little bit of pipe work when you've got a blank wall i actually wasn't feeling so well when i did this i had a bit of a headache and that um so it's just one of them where I just wanted to be left alone and just crack on with my work really um, Say so it was a Sunday, uh, nobody really likes working Sunday I've just been super super busy recently uh, So I've just having to do 7 days to try and keep up um, Hence why the lack of content on the channel really uh, I've got plenty of content saved on my SD card though So um, so I've got a few nice boiler installs on there uh, I went to commissioned a 1.3 megawatt um, commercial boiler at an AD plant as well so obviously if you're new to the channel and you want to see that sort of stuff, hit the subscribe, it really does mean a lot. Um, as I say, I'll try and upload when I can, but obviously if I'm busy, then I'm not going to be able to upload. I always try and work from a centre point. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw at the start, basically I work out where all my big components are going, like the boiler and the cylinder, and then I basically work everything back from there. Obviously everybody works differently, this is just how I do it. I don't really do a drawing, I just sort of have a picture in my head how it's going to go, and I just sort of work from that, really. Uh, I've just been doing it long enough obviously to know to know what's easy to get to obviously you're going to put your zone valves and stuff where they're easy to get to your pumps and stuff like that so yeah it's just about setting your setting your space out obviously it'd have been nice to have more room but that's obviously the space I've got uh, as I say I didn't get this job done but I will show you obviously the finished job when I get back it's just obviously so, so busy at the minute I just pick this job up as and when I can really um, but yeah, if you get any any questions about the install or anything, if I've done anything wrong or you'd have done differently, let me know in the comments. And obviously, I always always like to hear what other people think of my work and obviously how I can improve. Really, always leave your pipe work, any pipe work, um, going through a wall. It's always best practice. Um, so yeah, just use a piece of twenty eight. Just leave that cold pipe going through the wall there. Um, I always solder all my fittings. Some people like to crimp. I solder. You know, you do it how you want. Um, there's no really right or wrong answer as long basically as long as you flush all the flux out there's absolutely nothing wrong with soldering it always looks nice and neat and tidy nice and easy to slag all your pipes as well uh, so yeah use whatever use whatever you feel comfortable with just using the old tape measure trick here basically where you prop your pipe up with the tape measure where you solder in it's really it comes in handy i use it all the time it's a really neat little trick if you guys don't know that just lock your tape measure off and it just holds your pipe up acts like a little pipe vice the laser level comes in really handy as well. Um, I know I keep going on about the laser level, but it's probably one of the best things I've bought for the van. Uh, I think it was £180 off Amazon. It's the Bosch. I can't remember which model it is exactly, but it came with a tripod. Uh, it takes four double A's, I believe, but the batteries last ages. Um, so yeah, I literally probably use that on all my installs now. Uh, it, it does slopes and gradients and all sorts of stuff. I probably don't even know half the settings on it. I basically all I want is a nice straight lines really. Uh, just obviously makes all your pipe work look super neat. Keep all your clips in line. Um, yeah, it just basically looks like a professional job and when the customer comes around and see you using a laser they think you actually know what you're doing even if you don't. Always think about future maintenance when you're doing your installs. Uh, keep all your parts accessible so you you know your zone valves your pumps your filters make sure you can actually service them properly um, we always basically we want to look after the systems that we install ideally uh, so like keep your composite valves above the height of the cylinder put a lever valve underneath that so it makes it super easy to clean the filters and stuff like that on it um, so yeah think about the next man basically is what I'm trying to say um, yeah because it's probably going to be you if you do a good job at the end of the day the customer's probably going to want you back in the house so always always make stuff easy to get to we always fit quality parts as well honeywell zone valves in my opinion are really good uh, grunfoss pumps you know um we fit the Khalifi composite valves that come with these cylinders seem pretty good quality as well so yeah always think about future maintenance now then guys we are back on this one today it's not been plastered yet luckily uh because the rest of the shower valves have arrived. Uh, 
So fitting these ones, uh, slightly different to that, but the same principle. So this is just the bath. So we've got the fixed head going over the bath. Uh, it's going to fill through the overflow. So they're dual outlet thingies. Um, so hot and cold underneath the bath to the shower, one to the top, one to the bottom. That's that one done. In here we got the shower valve, got to go in there. I'm just not sure because the shower head's not come yet. It's having like a waterfall one out ceiling over here somewhere. So, so there's a waterfall, there's a waterfall and a thing. So I don't know if it needs to be a triple outlet. We've only got a double one on site. So I need to check when the head comes. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, what else have we got to do? That, that, uh, the basin taps here as well. So all these need chopping in. It's a rack ceramic one. It's a good quality one. So that needs to be in. Um, all the patrices yet. And then yeah, that's, that's this one pretty much first fixed then. I've got to lag all the pipes still. But yeah, that's what I'm cracking on with uh, this afternoon anyway. So that, that one I need to get done. Oh, then pipes need bringing out as well. Now they've got studying up, all the back plates need to go on. So yeah, that's this afternoon. Oh, and then the bath tap as well, I forgot about that. That's having a waterfall thing. So the, the tap's going over here now. So I've got to move them pipes. I've got to move these. And the, but the outlet's going here, like a waterfall thing. And it's having a, a freestanding bath thing. So... I need to get that get that first fixed as well. So I've got a bit, bit to crack on with now this afternoon. Yeah, we'll uh, get some tools up and we will crack on. All right, guys, you just got the laser set up. Um, this is the center of the bath, 700 bath going in, plus the thickness of the plasterboard on this side. So this will want to be dead in line with the, the overflow down here. I'm not going to show how to do every one of these. That'd just be boring, but I've set that up to the right depth. I've plumbed this board up. Got that board screwed in nice and solid, so it gives me something to screw my shower valve to, and then it's just a case of piping these up, fixing that one at the top, dropping this one just below the bath, and then that will connect into the overflow. So yeah, I'll get this done really quick, and uh, yeah, I'll show you the finished job. A little top tip on these guys, I always find just take your O rings off in there, just obviously while you're setting this plate up, just makes it easier to slide on and off. So I always double check with the spirit level. Uh, to make sure that that plate is level I know I've, I've set it with the laser dead through the line um, and then obviously you're just checking your depths so we've got plasterboard and mermaid door to go on here so we should be uh, well within well within at that so we're fine on this one so it's just a case of getting it piped up so that's my heart that's my cold so I'll probably just bend these in 22 up I'll take a I probably will bring a 22 down but it'll only be 15 where it connects onto the overflow and I'll just take a 15 up to the top yeah, nice and easy. So I've got my hot all bent in now. I've decided to bend it all. My bender, it's like a Ruffenberger one. It's over there. It's not very good. I probably wouldn't recommend getting a Ruffenberger bender. No matter what, how you bend it, it seems to do that. It's, it's not very old. To be honest, I don't know why I bought another Ruffenberger. It's my own fault. I snapped, I literally snapped the other one in half. Uh, so it's my own fault, I shouldn't have bought Ruffenberger, but yeah, I don't know, it just, they're just not very good. So if you if you, buy, if you want to buy a bender, avoid Ruffenberger in my opinion. I do need to treat myself to a new one, because that, I mean that'll be fine under the bath, but that is just rubbish really. This is where the laser comes in clutch, because obviously you can just set that up and you know all of them are going to be dead in line. So I've got hot, cold going into the valve. This one will be 15 mil coming up to the top to feed that back plate. Um, that's the basically the blended one coming down uh, to feed the, the overflow thing there. But that will only be half inch where it connects on, I'd imagine. The annoying thing about the bender is sometimes it's fine, look. That's the annoying thing, but I'll have to get a new one. So yeah, that's pretty much pretty much getting there on this one. That's another one all set up, ready to go. Uh, I always take the take the chrome bits off when you're done. Put these in your box, tape your box up, put it somewhere safe. Hopefully that one's low enough. If it's not, I can uh, I can sort that. It should be alright, to be fair, but 
It's a bit of an afterthought. I'll put the other one a little bit lower, but it's alright. I can sort it after anyway. So they're all in. All screwed back nice and neat. So yeah, get your chrome bits off. Protect them well. Just got them back plates to do, them pipes to move across. That waste pipe to get in the study now. And then just uh, just that bathroom over there to do. And then we're pretty much first fixed up here. Just got these back plates all set up uh, for the shower. That's obviously the main head one at the top. Uh, that's the uh, rinse one. So I'll have like a rise rail come up this side or that side. Um, just got to move them basin pipes across a bit. This is a 700 shower tray going in. So you can still get the screen in for the window. I've just measured that. Um, so yeah, all good. Obviously my controls are there. That one's all done that side now. Ready for that uh, shower over the bath thing. Uh, so I just got them to do then. And that's pretty much all first fixed then. Um, so yeah, and then just patrices and langin. And then over the weekend, I'll uh, get the cylinder and boiler and everything put in. I've already moved the kitchen sink. Uh, there was a kitchen sink uh, down there. We put a new back door in. So I've temporarily put the uh, sink over there on the downstairs just on some speed fit um, so I can disconnect it easy but you can at least I, I can get the boiling cylinder and stuff in at the weekend then and then we can get rid of them tanks over there to be fair I've still got a fair bit to do in here because this is quite fancy in here now so there's probably like a day's work in there first fixing that a lot but I'll, I'll get it done this is the bath tap one or what's going to be the bath tap i've had to bring my pipes around from there i'll pipe it into here and then this is going to have to go back around around and end up over here somewhere for the waterfall thing i haven't actually got it that yet but it'll come i think the bath is 760 high i'll double check the dims uh, but basically that wants to be dead center of the bath um so we've got tower rail i've got the tower rail on site now so i need to work out the pipes for that pipe centers uh, probably got an element to go in as well. Probably have to go this side further away from the bath. Uh, shower, as I said, we've got that big rainfall head thing to get in the ceiling. It's 800 by 400 to head. Uh, so I think I'm going to take these 15 mil pipes out here. And there are 22 pipes under the floor down there. So I think I'm going to put 22 mil just to get a better flow to the shower. I only normally put 15 off an unvented to a shower. And the valve, the valve wants to be over here now anyway. So I've got to chop, uh, chop them in, uh, not chop them in, um, put the basically build the valve in here. This this wall's got half inch ply board going on both sides though because it's a structural stud. Uh, so I need to bear that in mind with my distances. So basically we've got uh, half inch ply, half inch plaster board, uh, then the mermaid board. So I've got to set the depth up accordingly. And I've got to chop all these in as well. Because uh, I've got a, it's actually quite a neat thing. It's basically the, it's like a built-in tap mixer, but most of that block's going to have to go out looking at the depth of it, but I'll make a little box for that. So yeah, you get in there. This is quite a bit of work to do in this one, to be fair. To toilet will be fine, because that's going in the unit. Um, tower LA basically needs to set up. This bath, bath I'll set up. Shower, uh, as I say, I've got that to do, and the basin. So probably like another six hours working here, to be fair, but we'll get in there. That's that bath tap all set up now. Uh, taking it around there in 22 because I've got a waterfall thing going over here. I haven't actually got that on site yet. Uh, but it's only 15 work left the shower, but decided to do it in 22 just to give it a bit more flow. Uh, so yeah, that one's all, all piped up, ready to go. Just got to do a bit of chasing now. This is the basin tap. It's obviously hot and cold. It goes that way up. It goes here somewhere, but that needs to be sunk into the wall. But that's my... Uh, Obviously, it shows you the finished wall surface, and then there's a wall hung unit going on here as well. So that waste pipe needs to be in the wall, obviously under the floor in the wall, dropped into about here somewhere, I'd imagine. But I'll work all the heights out and get get set up for that. But yeah, going all right. Just got this to do, then that shower, and then that's all first fixed then. So pretty good. I've done the worst part of the job now, I've got all this chased out. Um, hopefully, I think I've gone deep enough for this. Obviously, that wants to be finished wall, so I just need to screw this back in now. Obviously, we've got a dot and dab going on here, and then tile. So, we should be well within that. Obviously, um, when you're doing any chasing, obviously, where you create PPA, 
so FFP3 mask, uh, goggles, and uh, ear protection as well. Obviously, uh, you don't want to end up yourself doing yourself an injury. So, correct PPE, get masked up, um, do all your chasing, and that's the worst bit. Then, obviously, hot, hot this side, cold this side. They'll go into the floor. Just need to pick them back up under the floor. Um, so I'm out all this now. Drop them feeds down. Get the waste pipe as well. Obviously, base and waste for the for the wall hung unit coming out here. So this is the worst part of the job really, the chasing. Right, I've just got this uh, um, basin tap all leveled up now. It's a little bit of a job to tell because that that level there, somebody will come in and say, oh, it's not level, but that that moves. Obviously, that's just the plastic moving. So I've leveled it on my my spirit level, and I've had the, the laser on it as well. And by by my calculations, that should be bang on. Just have to make sure it's flush. Uh, yeah, plum coming out the wall that way as well. You don't want that on the on the lean. These are just plastic. I just when I, I tried to level it up and just tap that and it bust, but just taped it back up. So I've got my pipes dropped down through the floor. Just need to put some nail on these. And I just want to waste it then and then have a tidy up. But yeah, I know what somebody will say. They'll come in and say, "Oh, it's not it's not level," but it it is. So all good. Right, guys, I got this all done now. I got my waste in as well. Uh, I actually decided to set this forward a little bit more, it was a pain in the bum, but um, I felt when the dot and dab in the tile, it was just going to fall on the maximum line, so i give it plenty of room now. I just had to bring it forward like, well I'll give it 10 mil, but if I hadn't have done that, when it comes second fix, I might not be able to get my plates on. I bust that off, but these, these break off anyway, after it's tiled, so it's no drama, that's just like your tiling template. So... They're just a bit flimsy then. Yeah, it's all good now. So I just brought that forward a little bit. And then the plasters will have to plaster up to that. But there's nothing I could do, you see. Because it's got to fall within these lines. I've got the, the valve dead level. And it's it's dead plumb as well. So it should be good. So if you don't get your first fix right, when you come second fix, you're going to have a nightmare. So you better have to, if you better if you see a problem, just deal with it. 